Hi, my name is Brandon Frantz, and I'm an instructor here for many undergraduate classes, including the DSP capstone design course. Um, in this course, students spend the entire term developing uh, really a novel project of their own with the intent eventually to take that all the way to a successful hardware or release stage. Um, in this class, students have access to a number of very high-powered DSP boards, uh, as well as things like Jetsons, Nanos, uh, GPUs, and other uh, hardware that, that they potentially could need. Uh, for instance, we have had several projects involving both drones and other automated uh, vehicles. Uh, we also have access to for things like the 3D printer, as well as a number of other uh, resources which students have throughout the term. Uh, in general, we leave this lab open, at least to those students, uh, 24 hours a day, um, and that way they can come in here, do meetings, and, and coordinate with their team members throughout the term. Hi there, welcome to D18. This is a newly renovated classroom that we've used for many interactive uh, subclasses, such as the control systems lab and the undergraduate capstone design courses. Uh, the room is recently renovated and we are in the process of bringing this back online. Uh, we've already started that process and you can see by some of the hardware that's set up for both the control systems as well as a lot of the hardware in the background for the undergraduate design lab. Uh, the room features really two separate working areas. The first is this small collaborative uh, area in the front which allows uh, very small discussions between students and, uh, and both remote and, uh, and present, as well as ample working space around the outside of the room where students can break off and work either on their individual projects or on small within small sections. Hi, I'm Sonal, and this is the Introductory Control Systems Laboratory. In this lab, we actually study how to use mathematical tools to represent our physical system analyze its behavior and modify that behavior as desired. Um, so here we are working with an inverted pendulum system, for instance, and our goal here is to keep this pendulum upright. And you can see that even though I'm disturbing this pendulum system, we can use control theory tools to actually achieve our desired behavior. Uh, other than inverted pendulum system, our students also work with a variety of other mechanical systems, such as magnetic levitation system and carpool system.